We may have calmed down from a set of solar storms, but we're still in for a bit of a bumpy ride. How will this affect you? That story and more in the news this week. Space weather this week is remaining a bit unsettled. We had originally bumped up to storm levels a few days ago for some fast wind that came from this northern coronal hole. Now, the wind actually hit us a bit harder than anticipated because we thought this coronal hole was pretty far north, and so it may not last for very long. But in actuality, the wind actually bumped us to storm levels for about six hours, and then it kept us at active conditions for about another day. So it gave us some gorgeous aurora views, which was fantastic break considering I expected things to be, you know, getting a little dull. But since then, we've kind of calmed down a little bit. The wind speed has definitely died down, but we're not down to quiet conditions. And the main reason for that is because we're dealing with a remnant coronal hole that's actually quite wide. And it's not really letting the solar wind calm down all that much. So we're getting kind of pockets of fast wind here and there that keep things a little bit elevated. So this is good news for aurora photographers, especially at high latitudes. You guys are going to be enjoying some decent sporadic aurora over the next three or four days possibly before things begin to calm down and then after about a week or so we're going to be start seeing some influence from some other coronal holes that are rotating back into earth view from the sun's backside Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are expecting that coronal hole, that remnant coronal hole, to be rotating through the Earth strike zone over the next couple days. And we might even see a little bit of a southern polar hole influence. So we're going to be expecting pretty much unsettled conditions because it's not really all that much to work with, but it's not enough to keep us really quiet. At high latitudes, no is expecting unsettled conditions with about a 20% chance of a minor storm. So you aurora photographers at high latitudes, Latitudes, you could get some sporadic aurora show that might actually be worthwhile. Now, mid latitudes, we're also expecting unsettled conditions, but not much in the way of aurora for you. And things will continue to quiet down as we go further through the week. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, everything is still in the green when it comes to solar flares. We have a spotless sun right now, and it's going to continue that way, we think, for quite a bit. Now, this is good news for GPS users. The day side is fantastic. There is no problems with reception because we're not expecting any radio blackouts. But it does mean that we have a low solar flux. So this is bad news for amateur radio and shortwave radio responders. You guys are dealing with poor radio propagation right now and it's going to continue like that on Earth's day side and probably also the night side might not be all that much better. So unfortunately this is going to continue easily for the next week and possibly two weeks until we get a little bit more solar storm activity. Now also because we are at solar minimum I know I sound like a broken record but we have more cosmic ray penetration than normal so you frequent flyers and this includes air crew who fly more than 800 hours annually and fly at high latitudes and high uh, altitudes, you are at the marginal levels for radiation dose. This also now is including prenatal passengers for long duration flights. So please take this into consideration in your flight plans. So the space weather this week is beginning to quiet down. We're sitting at unsettled conditions right now and will likely stay that way as a remnant coronal hole rotates into the Earth strike zone. And if the models are correct, then we're going to get a little bit of an influence from the polar coronal hole, get some fast wind from that. And that can keep us at unsettled conditions easily over the next three to four days. So your aurora photographers at high latitudes, be sure to get some shots because you'll get some sporadic aurora and then share it with the rest of us looky-loos who aren't getting much action action right now. Now, GPS operators, you guys are also very happy because we have a spotless sun and no risk for radio blackouts. We also have low solar flux, which means your GPS reception on Earth's day side looks pretty good. And then with the unsettled conditions on the Earth's night side, which helps kind of stabilize the upper atmosphere, that also means your GPS reception should be pretty decent on the night side as well, even at low latitudes. So you're looking good. Now, amateur radio operators and shortwave operators, well, that's where the bad news comes in. This low solar flux means poor radio propagation, and that's probably going to continue easily for the next week, maybe even longer before things begin to look a little bit better. So when it comes to discussing the last man standing, it looks like CW and maybe the new digital modes are the way to go. I'm Tamitha Sko. Thank you for watching.